Okay, I want to do a quick video here. Uh, I've got a person who's been viewing my videos that apparently is a little confused on the importance of ventilating a beehive in the winter. Now, must be, I remember the day I worked these, it was not a good day. I didn't get that close up, and you can see they're propolizing that up, which is an interesting thing. His comment was, I showed, you know, if you've seen my videos, in my in my uh, brood chambers, I make a 9 16 hole for an extra entrance and ventilation, and I also notch my inner cover. I don't know if you can see that up in there. I guess you could probably make that out. Little notch there for moisture to come out. Now, bees don't heat the hive. Bees heat the cluster. They get in a ball inside there. Starts out maybe the size of a basketball, volleyball, and then it, it dwindles down throughout the winter. But they don't heat the hive. They heat that cluster. They heat the inside of that cluster. In fact, if you put a if you put a thermometer in here, in the center of that cluster, it'll be 96 degrees. The outside, it, it could be freezing on the outside. Now why you need the ventilation is all that honey in there contains moisture. There's over a gallon of moisture in there. Sometimes two gallons, depending on the size of the hive. And when they consume that honey, they need to expel that moisture. And, I don't know, they sweat it out or whatever. It, it, it comes out through their body into the hive. Now, if any of you have ever had a cold, ice cold glass of tea or water or something in a hot, humid summer day and the outside of that glass sweats, well, the beehive is the same thing but opposite. It's warmer in the middle, colder on the outside. With that moisture in the hive, it will condense on the inside of this hive just like the sweat on the outside of a glass, a cold glass of water on a hot summer day. And it'll run down the inside of the hive, it'll collect in the roof or up in the inner cover and it'll drip down on the bees. Now any of that moisture that drips down on the bees will kill the bees. The moisture kills the bees. Cold doesn't kill bees, moisture kills bees. Bees can stand sub-zero temperatures for extended periods of time. They'll get in a cluster and what they actually do is they dislocate their wings and then they flex their wing muscles. They get in a big cluster and they flex their wing muscles and that generates heat. And then they'll keep rotating. The outside bees will move to the inside of the cluster. The inside bees will move to the outside. The queen always stays in the center of that cluster. And, and they keep her warm. And then after the winter or the spring solstice, she'll start laying eggs again. She's shut down now. We're middle of October. She's pretty much shut down laying eggs for the winter. She might be laying a few, but not many. and Because they don't want to have to keep that brood warm. They're just going to stay in a cluster now. Pretty much, if you look around, my golden rod's pretty much done. There's a few asters here and there that they're working, but not many. So they're pretty much done for the season. There's a little bit of golden rod right there. but For the most part, they're done collecting for the season. So they need to consume that honey to, to, for energy to create heat. But they only heat the cluster. They don't heat the inside of the hive. Now this guy's telling me I should, I should have all the windows knocked out of my house, holes punched in the walls. Well, it, it, would you take your kids and spray them down with a garden hose in the winter? Because that's basically what happens if you close your hive up too tight. Somebody said that they were thinking of wrapping their hives with plastic. Not really a good idea because you need to... In fact, you see how this is this is open a little here? And if you look, you'll see it propolized up. They'll seal up what they need to, and they'll leave some open what they need to. This little hole here, if they didn't want that, they'll propolize that right up. I've seen pictures of hives that have lost their top cover and completely built a cover on the top of their hive with propolis. So if they don't want them holes there, they'll, they'll fill that all in. But they know they need ventilation. In a tree, there's plenty of ventilation in nature. So I just thought I'd do a video here. Yeah, there's one coming out, see what's going on here. They'll, they'll be doing cleansing flights and there'll still be workers going out on warm days looking for stuff, but they ain't going to find much this time of the year. But they need ventilation. Without ventilation, you're going to get funguses growing in there. You're going to get rain basically dripping on the hive, killing the bees. Uh, 
bacteria is going to grow in there. They all you don't want the moisture in there. And what happens is with the heat that they create will rise from the colony, escape out this top entrance. That'll draw cool, drier air in the bottom, and that'll expel that moisture out so you don't get the rain. Now, a bunch of people have tried different things. Uh, that's why we use an inner cover and a top cover here in the north. Most people do, some people don't, because that gives you a little dead air space above. The moisture will collect up in that dead air space because it's colder on the top than it is on the inner cover. And it'll rain down on the inner cover instead of raining down on the colony. Some people put insulation in there. I've done that in the past. I think I'm going to do it this winter. I should be getting these winterized. I ain't even pulled my honey off. Uh, this one here, as you notice, there's empty colonies here. I had four. Unfortunately, I had three colonies come down with foul brood again this summer. And I had to burn them. But that's a whole different story. Hopefully I never see that again. I'm going to treat... I'm gonna treat like crazy on that. Eh, some, hopefully I don't get it in this hive. I got four more at home, or at home, I'm at home. Four more at the farm that I'll treat. I haven't treated, I did treat the ones at the farm this spring. My nephew was treating his, so I had him dust mine with some teramycin, maybe. But it's funny that I'm the only one that's got it. My brothers and my brother and nephews haven't, haven't got any of it, but I've had, I've had two last year and three this year but hopefully I'm I'm done with old equipment I've had some old frames I've burned them all now everything I've got is new since I started I've burned a lot of my new equipment some of these hives I just built in fact the, the hive that you've seen me build I don't think it was this one I think it was actually one of them that I burned yeah I know because this is this was my first bottom board so well yeah, I had to burn that hive so I, I hope if the guy's watching, I ain't even going to tell you his name, but he watched my winterizing uh, bee, beehives and uh, he just, apparently he just doesn't get it. They need the ventilation. They need to get rid of that moisture. They can handle the cold. They can heat the cluster. They don't heat the inside of the hive, just their cluster. So I hope this clears things up a little bit. And you know, people don't need to, they don't need to harp on the guy. He just doesn't understand. So, thanks for watching. Bye.